Today we're going to talk about this product called Snapshot Ruler by a company called Shoreland Outdoors. It's, it's basically a small unit that allows you to, to measure fish a little more safer, a little more uh, comfortably per se. It is made out of uh, all plastic. It is made to uh, work with your boga or boga-like grip. Um, if you're not familiar with the boga, this is it right here. Basically, you open it up, hook the fish, and you control the fish. Um, in the water and out of the water. It has a scale built in, so you can lift it up and all that stuff. I, I don't really like to use this thing because on the larger fish, it actually damages them. However, if you're going to keep the fish anyway, I guess that's fine. Uh, what I do is use it on larger fish and just leave it in the water so it can't shake and go crazy and stuff like that, right? It's actually better than just flop around in your boat deck, right? Um, let's go back to the, the snapshot rule. It is 40 inches long, so you can actually measure fish up to 4 inches in 40 inches. You can you know, hold up, it's 40 inches. That's, that's a big fish to hold with one or two arms. So your best and besides hurting the fish, that's probably you know very difficult to get the whole fish in the picture as well. What you want to do is probably just lay the ruler on the ground, well, on the boat deck, and measure it that way. Okay, I'm gonna open this sucker up. As you can see, it's very small, very compact, it's made out of totally plastic, so if you get it dunked, not a problem. Drives right off, works fine. It goes to 40 inches. It has a little weight on the bottom, so when you hold it vertically, it actually holds it straight. Right here is a little um, clip. Not a clip, but a slot. So when you actually have your your, uh, your fish in there, it actually pulls it up a little bit just to make sure that the, the nose or the jaw of the fish is at the end. That way it's at zero, right? And obviously, you measure it like this. It's pretty convenient, pretty easy. Like I said, on the big fish, you probably don't want to do this. It probably hurts the fish, unless you're keeping it, of course. Um, a lot of times, your friends say, hey, that's not fish is not that big. And you say, oh, I got big hands. But <laughs> this, this way, you can actually tell them, hey, man, it's right there on the, on the measuring stick. Now, the only problem I have with this particular unit is that it doesn't have like the small quarter or half inch or three quarter inch. So for tournaments, it's going to be very difficult to, to, uh, to you know, break little small tie breakers and stuff. If they would put that, that'd be great for tournament use too, because you can actually have control the fish with with, with the boga on the on the on the boat or kayak or whatever. Put the fish on here, and you can actually pinch the tail with this thing without you know, convenient your buddy or whatever can actually measure, not measure, take a picture of the fish. Like I said. It's, Goes up to 40 inches. Very small, very compact. And this will help you too when you, you know, whether you decide to keep fish or not. 27 inches, obviously the, the maximum length for redfish in our area, and you know, 18 inches the the bottom range of the redfish to keep in our area. So it'd be a good place. It'd be a good little item to carry around with you. Very inexpensive. You can stick this in your pocket, the tackle box. Waterproof, so it's not going to disintegrate on you. It's not going to get blown away. It's actually a pretty, pretty neat little item. I will try to get a couple of pictures with this in use on the field for you. But Shoreland Outdoors Snapshot Rules. I'll put the link in the description and not subscription. A link in the description in the small write-up I do about it. I'll take a couple of uh, videos of the close-up of these things too.